laps. That was one hell of a game to watch and play in, I imagine. Yeah, very exciting to watch. Uh, first first half, very good. Uh, Football like for both teams passing the ball really well. Uh, we had a good shape about us, creating chances. Could have been a lot more goals in the first half, to be fair. So, yeah, great game to watch for neutral. What did you make of them? Yeah, I thought they were good. I thought coming on, uh, you obviously know they've got the ability to bop it around. That's what they're being coached to do, similar to their first team. Uh, yeah, I didn't actually, physically, I don't think it was that too demanding because I thought the centre half and the keepers like to stand on it a bit, so you got your you got your breaks. But when they moved, they moved quick, and it was quite hard to keep on top of. Yeah, quite different to a usual League Two encounter, I thought. Yeah, a lot different. Uh, normally, it's a lot. It's League Two is probably a lot 100 mile per hour the, the whole game in it. So when they set on it and then give you a minute to uh, get set, and yeah, it's nice to have a little breather every now and then. What about yourself? You scored the decisive goal tonight. Yeah, uh, I thought Gady done well just to get down there. Uh, drove in and committed his man, and then obviously El just put it on a plate for me. So I've just, if I'm not there, it's my fault. So yeah, El done well, Gady done well, and just tapped it in. Yeah, it was a good finish. You 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 steered it in well. Did I? Yeah, uh, I don't know. To be fair, I was quite close to the goal. Uh, I thought it was a good ball from El. Just left it there in front of the man for me to to run on and just nick it in. Yeah. So who who were you impressed with tonight in the in the amber and blue? Everyone, to be fair, I thought everyone played well. Kells coming in, Kells put in about six or seven great balls. Uh, who else? Gady done really well. Maris done well. Skip done well. Literally everyone done well. I could name everyone. Makar, Kieran, Bowles. You know what I mean? Literally everyone played well. Lukey got goal and assist. Riley, Scotty made a great save. I thought literally everyone that started the game come in done really well. It must have been a big sense from those players in the dressing room who don't usually play to see this one tonight as a real opportunity to stake a place for a regular, a regular slot in the team. Yeah, definitely. I think if you, even if you're looking at starting eleven, there's a lot of players there that probably feel they should be starting on Saturday, which I totally, totally like understand. Of good players at this level, like you got the likes of Skip, who's obviously found himself not in the team, and he's very good player at this level but again I could go around everyone Maris even Gailey tonight I thought Gailey was unreal if Gailey keeps playing like that like he'll he'll play games at this level do you know what I mean so make an even higher so yeah buzzing for Gailey because he works so hard around training ground sometimes doesn't get it's hard as a 19th man I've been there where you're travelling and not getting on the bench and like on Saturday you weren't on the bench and you've got to go and do your run so honestly when Gailey scored I was buzzing to be fair buzzing for him How's he feeling in the dressing room big night for him yeah, yeah, he's obviously very happy. Probably, well, it's his first Stags goal, isn't it? So, is it his first professional goal? I don't know. So, yeah, he probably won't sleep much tonight. A good finish as well, so he'll probably watch it back about 100 times. So, yeah, over the moon for him. Coming away from this one, what have you made of this season thus far? Got us get points on the road. I think we've obviously, first three away days, haven't got anything. First three at home, we love playing at home. I don't know what happens when we go away. We just got to try and keep, keep just trying to approach it the way it is. It's got to be a mentality thing where I don't know, but as uh, hopefully we're going Donny. Last time was at Donny. I think the fans sort of made that a home game for us. So that's, that can be the one to get the monkey off our back. Hopefully, as you say, Stags scintillating at home. Not so much away at this moment in time. You mentioned mentality. Can you put your finger right on one particular thing that that's not? really working for Mansfield away at the minute? No, I don't think you can put a finger on it. I think if we could put a finger on it, it would, would have been fixed by now. Uh, I think, like the game Saturday, I think if we go in at nil-nil, I think probably fancy us more to go on and get the goal than Saturn. I think we give away quite a few silly, like sloppy goals. Uh, not only away at home as well, but yeah, away we give away sloppy goals and it's... Wouldn't, I, don't know, I don't have to say if it's hard to come back is the right thing to say because we've shown we can come back but obviously when you go away if you can get the first goal you can sort of control the game a bit and frustrate the opposition and the fans but yeah hopefully as I say Saturdays hopefully we can get the monkey off our back because last time we was there the fans made that home game for us Yeah it'd be a great place to start the ball rolling away from home at Doncaster on Saturday wouldn't it? Yeah I think the fans would love that or we'd love that just as much so everyone's focused on that now and we're in tomorrow so Attention turns to that tomorrow. How do you remember the last game in the FA Cup? You had a stupendous night. Yeah, I remember being freezing at half time. It was a cold night, weren't it? Uh, I remember feeling like, as I say, the atmosphere was unbelievable. Uh, I remember at half time feeling like we, we're letting we're letting ourselves down and we're letting the fans because we were playing nowhere near the the level we could play. But we obviously come out in the second half and got the three goals and got the win. So yeah, it was, in the FA Cup, it's always nice to get into the hat and you take three points. 
instead of the hat next time. <laughs> was it one of the halves of the season last time? Yeah, it was class playing, obviously, for myself uh, and the team, I think. Just the atmosphere was unbelievable. Um, yeah, I'd take three points any way it comes, though. <laughs> so it doesn't have to be the half of the season, Saturday. How much did the supporters aid you to victory last time and how much can they do so this time? Massively, massively. I think, even as I said there, it felt like a home game. Uh, I remember, I actually remember sitting in the change room at half-time, I was freezing, just thinking, do you know what I mean, we're, we're, letting, we're letting ourselves and letting them down here. So I have no doubts they're going to be there in their numbers and hopefully we can just put in a decent performance that we want to put in and that they deserve. And where were you at at this moment in time, very early on still in the season? Where were you at laps on a personal level in terms of standards and performance? Uh, yeah, I'm happy. It's obviously good to hit the back of the net. Uh, just happy to be playing, to be fair. I feel like, do you know what I mean? When you're playing, the world's a different place. You're, you're happy and you're training and you're just, you're just enjoying football. I'm back to enjoying football and I think I play better when I enjoy it and maybe take a bit of pressure off myself. So, yeah, hopefully I've got the right touch now. <laughs> well, I think we can tell you're enjoying it. Thanks, Laps. Class. Cheers, Steve.